Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Today we're gonna talk about multi-screens in Livestream Studio. This is super easy, super simple. I swear to you, couldn't be easier. In fact, if you struggle with this, you might be a problem. Multi-screens allows you to put different things on your external monitor. Let's say you're a fitness instructor and you want to have a visible clock to know what time it is while you're doing your stream. Or maybe you want to have a feedback monitor so you can see yourself on one of those screens. Well, we can set that all up inside of the multi-screen settings in Livestream Studio. Bring your favorite cup of coffee, a good attitude, okay, and let's get into it, shall we? Are you coming? Or do, does the rest of the class need to wait on you? Okay. Here we have Live Studio right in front of us, and I have a camera back here to show my screens because we're going to be showing you how we can send this to multiple screens. Okay, so you're in your project. You're going to go up to this cog up here, and you're going to click this, and you're going to hit not inputs or outputs. You're going to go all the way down to multi-screen. And here, it shows the different options we have. And so we're gonna identify the two screens. Now, notice there are two numbers right now. We've got a one on this side and we've got a two on this side. I'd hit identify to see that. And what's that, what is that saying? Well, first you gotta look at this number here. Now, sometimes like I've seen a number like inside of the parentheses that are right here, but you have to pay attention to this first number here. So it's telling me that Screen number one is over here. Screen number two is here. So if I want to edit screen number one, which was over here because we hit identify, identify, you'll first want to choose a layout. So I'm going to do a single layout. Look, it immediately turns black on screen number one. And I'm going to put the program monitor here. So I could have different layouts. So I could have this layout, which looks, puts me on a program monitor for, monitor for feedback. Instead, I could say, uh, nope, I'd rather have the time. Let's say I want to have the time here instead. I drag this down and all of a sudden I can see what time it is on this monitor. Let's say I want to have more than one thing on this screen. I'll hit the four layout. And now I can say, I want my timer here at the top right. And I want to have the countdown timer on deck. And I want to see what the ad will look like at the end. Okay. And so now I have different options. Let's say over here on the left side on screen number, what was it? Screen two, I want to have just my face. So this would be like you guys working out on the side, okay? So I now hit the drop down and I go to screen two. Right now it says disable, so nothing's there. I'm gonna go to the one format and there we go. Now, sometimes your face might not show up right away. Maybe, maybe the preview monitor is what's up and it's just dark because there's no second camera turned on. Well, just grab this red source and there you go. There's your program. Remember your red is your broadcast. What's going out in the broadcast. So your the red program monitor is what's going out to the public on your stream. So if you see in red that it's just black, you know, um, then you're not streaming anything from your cameras. You could have nine options on the screen and choose what you want to have. You could put the stream in one of them. Now we're not streaming. So this might be helpful if you wanted to see what the stream looked like. So I'm gonna hit save. So once again, settings, multi-screen inside of your settings, and then you can choose what format you want for which screen. But first you have to know which screen is which. Now I've had an instructor say, well, wait a second, the screen I'm looking at isn't counting as a screen. Well, that's correct. Your main screen will not be given a number because you are looking at what that screen is doing. So you guys have the monitor next to the computer, and then you have the two screens in front of you. So you're gonna have three options to connect to. Remember, it's the number that's at the front that you're identifying. That's the one that you should think about when you're editing these screens. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream studio journey. If you liked the video, give me a like, and if you loved it, subscribe, because I'll be giving some more live studio tutorials as the months go on here. If you have anything you would like me to talk about, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I can't wait to hear from you. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. All right, thank you guys so much. Have a good one and you know, stay frosty. And if, uh, if you wanna hang out, don't email me. I'm not gonna hang out with you, I don't got time. Um, and if you want to go get drinks, not available. Still kind of quarantined actually.